So we're doing operation get rid of stinky water. It's kind of been stinking over in our shower at our shop and our sink. I'm gonna get rid of the anode rod. So we couldn't find on this one where it was actually gonna be. It was underneath this cap that I ended up having to take a screwdriver, kind of punch it out when I found it. About to break it loose with a little breaker bar and the help of a dead blow hammer. We've got our new rod here, which is obviously a little bit too long. I uh, wish that I could have gotten one with zinc, but they're 50 something bucks and I'd have to wait five days to get one. So we're gonna replace it with magnesium and we put some uh, peroxide inside of this thing. We're gonna let it mix with water and we'll get rid of our right, We got an inch and 16th socket. We used a breaker bar with another breaker bar plugged into it. And now the moment of truth. How screwed up is this? Yeah. <laughs> this looks really bad. In fact, it's got so much crap on it. Oh god. That's why it stinks. It's supposed to look like that over in the corner. <laughs> Supposed to look like this guy. This has definitely been growing some junk on it. So now we're going to cut this one to length, put it in, and uh, we'll see if our stink goes away and maybe our peroxide will help. So before we started, we turned off our cold water and we turned on the hot water here, let as much hot water as we could drain. And down at the bottom on this one, there's a little drain pipe where my finger's at and we hooked up a hose to it and we let it evacuate and get rid of the pressure for about 30 minutes and we're letting it fill up now we'd also turn the power off that way those elements weren't trying to burn themselves up but we got our new rod in we put our peroxide we're gonna let the peroxide sit in there for a little bit we're gonna see what happens and hopefully it won't smell anymore